If you're looking for a way to quickly spark the interest of your site visitors and get them to take a specific action, there is no better way to do that than to use the help of a button. No matter if you want your visitors to buy a product, get them to subscribe, or read more info about your brand, products, or services, buttons will help you achieve that goal. My name is Valerie, welcome back to another tutorial from Motopress. In this video, we have rounded up the best plugins you can use to craft a button without coding skills. I'll explain what CTAs are and why they are so important. Then we'll help you add a call to action button to WordPress using four simple techniques. So get comfy and let's get started. We'll begin with the notion of CTA. A call to action is a prompt on a website that tells the user to take some specified action. A call to action is typically written as an action phrase, such as sign up or add to cart, and generally take the form of a button or hyperlink. In other words, this button or hyperlink acts as a signpost that lets the user know what to do next. Today we're talking about buttons only. Buttons can lead to such pages as service and pricing pages, product pages for e-commerce sites, social media profiles, contact and appointment booking forms, or any other page aimed to increase conversion rates and sales. The absence of buttons or other CTA elements means the lack of an optimized conversion strategy. There are a few different ways to add buttons in WordPress. The most popular methods are shortcode button builders, non-shortcode button builders, and HTML slash CSS. We are going to cover how to create a button in WordPress without writing any code, so we are left with two options only. There are multiple options to help implement both methods, whether it involves short codes or not. You just need to use one of the suitable plugins. First of all, we'll give tribute to WordPress plugins that offer visual customization. The ability to edit buttons in real time is a great advantage especially for beginners. We chose options suitable for the WordPress Block Editor, WordPress Classic Editor, and Elementor. We love the Block Editor for a variety of simple and fast solutions, and the Core Button Block is one of those. But this time we would like to explore the custom Gutenberg Button Group Block by GetRid. The free GetRid add-on unites 35 plus blocks with greater functionality than the core Gutenberg elements. That's why we've decided to focus on it. Uh, the button group block by GetRid allows you to have as many buttons as you can. The block adds two by default and tweak a lot of their layout and styling. We are now on the page where you can see more examples of how this block can be used and its possible stylization options. Now I'm adding the button group to my page for you to see what's under the hood of this block. You will be able to set the button spacing and designate alignment, direction, and button width for different viewpoints. The style settings give buttons the ability to choose whether the button will be filled or outlined, adjust width settings, and add text and background colors. You are also free to edit button text, modify typography settings, define the border radius, and don't forget to insert the link. Moving on to Elementor, the page builder developers included the button widget in the basic Elementor library. The button content element will have such options. First up is type. This allows us to define a preset style for the button. Next is the text area. Here you can declare the text we would like to appear within the button. The next option allows us to apply a link to the button. And if you know the URL, you can simply type it into the field or you can perform a search of your existing pages. To display more link options, select the gear icon. Here you can specify if you would like the link to open in a new tab. 
The alignment area will allow you to specify the position of the button. Size allows us to define a preset button size. We have extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. Next, we have the icon option. Here we can add an icon to your button, which adds a great visual aspect for your visitors. If required, we can also specify a button ID in this section here. Now, switch to the Style tab. The Style tab will allow you to style the look of your button widget in more detail. The Stratum collection of widgets resembles Gatwit in many ways. It's a freemium library of 20 plus advanced elements made for quick setup of the most common sites blocks. The fact that Stratum has no separate widget for a button does not mean you can't assemble CDA buttons with it. There are a couple of ways how to make a button on WordPress using this Elementor add-on. In particular, the price comparison table by Stratum includes a customizable button. And if you're interested in this particular widget, don't miss the chance to watch this tutorial on our channel. It's 100% devoted to this topic. Also, WordPress code buttons are available in the image accordion widget and, of course, the advanced post widget. And if you're still a classic editor lover, the Forget About Chat Code Buttons plugin is a good option if you want to learn how to edit buttons in WordPress Classic Editor. After the plugin is installed and activated, open the poster page for editing. Put the cursor in the place where you want to add the button and click the Insert button on the toolbar. In the open window, enter the button text, URL, and select Color and Style options. You can preview changes in real time. And after you finish editing the button, click Update. Some users still prefer button shortcut plugins over solutions with real-time visual editing. Max Buttons is one of the most famous plugins for WordPress button shortcuts. After you install and activate the plugin, create a new button in Max Buttons Add New. The most important settings are in the first box. You need to enter the button name, only you will see it, paste the URL link, and type the button text. In basic settings, you can also personalize the button's font and change color, width, and description. Besides the basic options, you will access settings for the border, background, text shadow, container, and advanced settings. Although Max Buttons does not include drag and drop editing directly on a page, you will still have the button preview on the top right corner. As you finish configuring all settings, click Save. The plugin will generate the short code, which you'll see in the yellow pop-up. The great news is that you can insert the copied short code anywhere on the site. The short code will be compatible with all WordPress page uh, builders. Keep in mind that all your buttons and short codes will disappear as soon as you deactivate or remove the plugin. Max Buttons is a freemium plugin, so by purchasing the plugin's pro version, you'll have the chance to play with some of its advanced features like creating buttons with longer text and involving icons. The final highlight of Max Buttons Pro is the easy Google Analytics event tracking, allowing you to track the number of button clicks. However, remember, when it comes to shortcut plugins, there is a great chance to make the site heavier and ultimately increase the site loading time. All the solutions I mentioned work for standardized buttons for all purposes and page types. But if you ever wonder about solutions for specific button types, these are plugins are to go for. All the useful links, as usual, will be in the description box. Last but not least, I'd like to highlight several factors to make some buttons more effective than others. The best calls to action needs to grab the user's attention, so a bright button color that contrasts with the color of the page is an effective strategy. Moreover, the font size should be large enough to command attention. 
Also, it's important to state a clear benefit that the user will get from completing the transaction. In this case, command verbs are your holy grail. For example, such as discover, learn more, and buy now. Make your CTA short, crisp, and direct, leaving no room for doubt in your customers' minds. Make sure your CTA appeals to human emotions or even creates a sense of urgency. It's easier to get your customers to do what you want once you got them hooked. So your CTA should be the bait. Another crucial factor to leverage the button effect is eliminating all possible errors. Make sure each WordPress button link works properly. And these were essentials to take into account as you add buttons to WordPress. To sum up, WordPress flexibility is impressive when it comes to no-coding solutions. Based on your needs and page builder preferences, you are free to build all types of page and blog buttons. The functionality of three versions of Elementor, Stratum, or Max buttons is enough to produce visually attractive buttons, not to say the Get With Gutenberg add-on and Forgot About Shortcut buttons come free by default. Which of the four methods we've shown you today is your favorite? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. And for more video tutorials like this, click the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified when new videos are released. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.